Hello, today I'm going to talk about hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, HCM, is a type of cardiomyopathy defined by left ventricular hypertrophy which cannot otherwise be explained by another cardiac or systemic disease. It is the leading cause of sudden cardiac death in infant, teenager, and young adult. Epidemiology was slight male prevalent and around one out of 500 in the general population. It can be or it has symptom and sign of life predominant congestion. At failure, it could be present like that. It could be present like life and the Track obstruction, which has ejection systolic normal in augustation, auscultation. The electrocardiogram so high precardial QOS voltage. Secondary polarization abnormality, ST segment depression, G wave involution, left axis deviation, and deep narrow so called needle like Q wave type called in lead one, R, V5, and V6. Pathology. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is characterized by left ventricular hypertrophy, which the ball is more than twelve to fifteen mm in sickness. Not more wall sickness is around 12 mm or less. We miss it in the uh, during just without obvious etiology. Associated right ventricular hypertrophy may be seen in 15 to 17 percent of the case. Tender radio crowd. In terms of diagnosis, we can, uh, radiograph can have some, like when we take the radiograph of the chest, we can find, or it may be so normal or reflect on specific features such as thing associated cardiogenic pulmonary edema, such as we can find cardiomegaly, we can find pulmonary venous congestion. This is the case of the zero day old baby boy, infant of diabetic mother born via C section with respiratory distress. So, this is the case of uh, congenital hypertrophic cardiomyopathy associated with diabetic mother. This is a case of 42 years old female with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and acute pulmonary edema, like we see on the frontal and lateral chest graph. The heart is big and bilateral congestive condition of the lung.
This is uh, another case of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy which fall, come to fall up many times. And this time we, we can see the in the radiograph, the heart is looks normal, sorry, but only a little bit increased pulmonary vascular making. But in the ECG, so deep and wide and pure wave and persistent T wave inversion. So that is the case of hypertrophic or geomyopathy. Echography. We usually use 2D echography to find supportive of diagnosis include subtle to inferior lateral wall sickness ratio 1.3. If more than 1.5 in the presence of hypertension. So, in case of hypertension, we uh, the ratio need to be more than one point five. If we, which is indicate for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy or any myocardial segment with an explained wall sickness more than fifteen. And on and on. M mode echography with 2D image for detection of systolic and the emotion of mitral valve. But we can search for anterior mitral valve left leg displaced into left ventricle of trach towards septum, septum during ventriculus systole. Contract with septum may occur in mid systole when severe. Concomitant fluttering or closer in mid systole of the aortic valve left leg with notching of the corresponding hormone thrust. This is the image of left ventricular hypertrophic evaluation in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Short axis view at mitral level on the image at the left. And mid ventricular level uh, in the center, and the upper image at the right. The red arrow indicates maximal wall sickness at the upper gun level. This is the parasternal long acid view of four patients with different disease that cause left ventricular hypertrophy. A. Sarcomeric hypertrophic cardiomyopathy with an asymmetric subtal left ventricular hypertrophy. B. Anderson Fabry disease, sickening mitral valve and relative sinning of the inferior wall C, Danone disease with a severe concentric left vertical hypertrophy D, white high TTR amyloidosis, concentric left vertical hypertrophy, large left antrum, and a granular sparkly myocardium pattern with mild peregrial effusion and second mitral valve and aorta.
is preoperative imaging so severe B ventricular hypertrophy with right ventricular outflow tract obstruction A parastenal long axis view so severe hypertrophy of the inter interventricular septum and of the right ventricular free wall B Parastenal short axis view so severe hypertrophy of right ventricular outflow tract and Doppler color flow arising and asymmetric hypertrophy of IVS and or and right ventricular free wall. D. CMO focus on right ventricular outflow tract so hypertrophy of the Right ventricular free wall and IVC. Right ventricular This is the M mode across the mitral left leg. So the presence of the systolic anterior motion of the anterior mitral valve left leg we call same. This is a cardio echocardiographic finding of the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy A, 2D ego cardiography in the parastenal long axis view, demonstrate basal septum hypertrophy in the pattern suggestive of the sinusoidal shape septum or hypertrophic cardiomyopathy B, Doppler cardiography performed at the rest in the apical long axis view, Reveal a severely elevated danger safe spectral veil due to dynamic left and the core outflow track obstruction. C. A mode echocardiography is useful for characterizing myocardial sickness and demonstrate left ventricular outflow track obstruction. Doppler echocardiography. In the presence of sand of the mitral valve disrupting leaflet co-optation of Doppler may demonstrate a posteriorly directed check of mitral recuperation. A lay flow may also be noted in leaflet outflow track in the presence of the obstruction. Spectral Doppler modality and U-tri in the evaluation of the child severity and anatomical location of obstruction. So the power Doppler may be used to differentiate obstruction of in at the mid cavitatory level in the outer tract or at the level of the aortic valve by passing the gate and obtain spectral envelope from the corresponding location. Arising from high velocity flow is typically of projection. Continued rail. Continue veil Doppler envelope morphology can suggest the nature of the obstruction and may be used to quantify the peak gradient as the surrogate of the hemodynamic significant. Dynamic obstruction demonstrates an envelope with a gradual velocity increase in early systolic systole by a sharp increase heralding the onset of obstruction with a late peak, a peak gradient of less than 30 mmHg is unlikely to be hemodynamic quality significant. This is the HCM case. The 2D image 
strong to run ecography, so same dependent significant mitral regurgitation. A, a pickup for chamber view with collateral flow, so significant eccentric mitral regurgitation. And B, a a pickup long axis view, so narrow left and the call a flow track by Sam with color acceleration. This is a four chamber view of 2D obtained in a patient with obstructive cardiomyopathy. Cardiomyopathy had severe mitral recuperation. A color of plus of the eccentric jet of mitral recuperation B. The same for chamber view without color after treatment by surgical myectomy and mitral replaced with mechanical prosthesis. This is the Doppler tracing of true left outflow track velocity in the image at the left compared with a hybrid envelope contaminated by a mitral recuperation jet in the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy at the right. This is this color spectrum with tracing through the obstructing horrify in the lavender car A patient with a gradient of 64 mmHg. Adjacity. Usually, we use the gadget for head CT scan in case of there is a Contraindication for MRI. This is a CT scan of 25 years old female with marked sickening of the interventricular septum is the node consistent with the known history of hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. On the left image, it is obtained in the arterial phase, and the right image is the non-contrast image. So the CT show fat density seen at the apex of the heart. Apex is sick, easier to appreciate in a retrospect. This is. Uh, this finding are suggestive of apical hypertrophic cardiomyopathy of 40 years old females. MOI. MOI have to visualize features which may include left ventricular, ventricular systolic function, left ventricular hypertrophy with or without arrival the call hypertrophy period predilection for the base the base uh, intervention spectrums. Also can find systolic anterior motion of the Mitral mitral recuperation, left ventricular 
Opica and Urizum, morphologic variant involved during the mitra evaluation apparatus. Kajak City also has a role in asymptomatic hypertrophic cardiomobility myopathy, mutation, carrier. By identifying phenotypic marker of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy in the absence of live ventricular hypertrophy include myocardial trip, local elongate mitral leaflet, Lead gadolinium enhancement, HG strictly, intramyocardial pattern at the right ventricle, incessant side within the hypertrophy, myocardium such as fibrosis. Another important role of cardiac hormone right, is in different settings, the mass like hypertrophic cardiomyopathy variant from a discrete cardiac myopathy form is suggested by the following feature present of contractility, iso intent to myocardium on T1 and T2 with images. First pass exam, patchy and first pass enhancement, patchy and mid ventricular type of delay enhancement. But it is the case of 20 years old male with apical hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. The image so mark myocardial hypertrophy of left lateral ventricle is seen with marked myocardial thickening at the apex and distinguished narrowing during system. The image of 25 years old female with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. With color three atrium tum. This was sickness of the left ventricle with disproportionality in light ventricular symptom, most pronounced at the anterior septal myocardium, consistent with asymmetric hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Maximum wall sickness is. Missile 42 mm at the mid anterior septum. Small left ventricle cavity size is demonstrated. Case of 35 years old male with sarcomeric hypertrophic cardiomyopathy with subtle and anterior wall involvement C is seen. There are also a rear of patchy mid wall enhancement indicating fibrosis. There is no left ventricle outflow tract obstruction. Case of 55 years old female. With ACM, there is an in impressive degree of hypertrophy involving nearly all segments except the septal apical and apical aspect of the heart. Systolic anterior motion of the mitral leaflet is seen due to the venturi effects. Whether this left blood is elongated or not connected cannot be assessed due to flow white artifact patchy mid 
wall and hands are conscious stand with fibros. There is no thrombosis. 45 years of male with apical hypertrophic cardiomyopathy with mid ventricle obstruction. This is a 30 years old male. Psychomeric hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is symmetric form, predominantly on the septum, second up to 30 mm septum with patchy LTE on septum and anterior septal wall consistent with fibrosis. Lateral wall is also thickened up to 20 mm, as well the right ventricle apical wall up to 15 No same, no sub-aortic absorption or no mid ventricle absorption. 45 years of female with mid ventricle hypertrophy cardiomyopathy demonstrate the characteristic dumbbell configuration of mid ventricle hypertrophy cardiomyopathy with nearly circumferential moral sickening of the mid cavity segment of the heart with relative sparing of the vasal at the apical segment. Treatment is individualized and generally guided by features such as associated symptoms, degree of arrhythmogenesis, and Depression and severity of left ventricle outflow tract obstruction. Asymptomatic low risk patient may not routinely require specific therapy. Patient with symptomatic heart failure and an absence of the left ventricle outflow tract. Absorption often receives standard medical therapy for congestive heart condition. Patient with left ventricle tract absorption and symptom consistent with heart failure may be managed with causes hemodynamic optimization include. Avoid of factor exacerbating the degree of the absorption, such as intense exercise, hypovolemia, and certain medication. Indication which decrease in no trophy, select patient may require surgical intervention management example, of which include patient with left ventricle disease, arrhythmia, and the attendant risk of sudden cardiac death may be managed with pharmacological anti make the medication easier or placement of unimplementable cardiomyopathy.
Thank you.